I thank Bremen. I thank everyone that has come around today. I'm celebrating the funeral for my senior sister. She passed away on the first of May. So today we are doing wakekeeping for her. And we have a lot of friends around. I thank them for coming. And uh, I thank them for what they are even doing already before the party commence. So I'm glad that everyone is here. And we have enough to jollificate and uh, we have enough to talk about. So I thank you guys. You're welcome. I'm still off from one mama oh. I really want a new mo. I'm still off from one mama oh. Hey. I'm still off from one mama oh. I'm still off from one mama oh. I really want a new mo. I'm still off from one mama oh. Hey. Today, um, for the wakeeping of 
Auntie Maria, um, the sister of Amechi, who I know has a very lovely woman. So sad that she went so soon. I pray that God accept her soul and give her a rest in peace. Let's have all hearts, Bruce. You know, when it comes to a burial like this, before we start, we normally do this. We give a moment of silence for the bereaved. We are here because of our brother who lost the sister. So, before we do anything here, yeah, can we all stand up and give the last respect to our dear sister who passed away? Today, uh, we'll be having to be opalating this affair. So I'm going to introduce MC Nollywood to take over from here. Maybe later, we're going to see MC Choice again. So I greet you all, and I thank you all for coming. MC Nollywood, over to you. Thank you. Thank you, MC Choice. I greet you. Hello. My people, I greet everybody. Just like uh, MC Choice uh, said, we are not here sure. today because of um, our brother, Bernard. Everybody knows him. He lost his sister. That's why we are here today. So, uh, before we continue, can we uh, reference God? Can we stand up to pray? Because everything to work. He does it. In Jesus' name, Amen. Amen. My dear Father, King of Glory, Ancient of Days, what I am, I am. We are here today to mourn our sister, Master. We are still resting in perfect peace. Amen. Amen. Father, we are the family. We are the family. We are the family. We are the family. Death is not good. Death is not good for us. But for you, you know why it's like that. But please, Father, console the family in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. We are here today, the moment. As, and we are sitting here now. And so it is in the right of the God. Rest in forever in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. So the family. We are the lost in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. So anything here, we are here now. We are welcome every each one of us here. As we come, so shall we go in peace in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 Thank you. I would want one or two people or three to give a um, word of encouragement to this our brother. Because if you lose some, if you lose somebody, you are devastated. It's not easy. So just indicate by raising your hand, so that we we'll give you the opportunity to tell him one or two words that will make his mind to come down a little bit. Because it's not easy. So if you are interested to talk to our brother as a word of advice, as a word of encouragement. You are free before it's open for you. I can see our Ghana sisters, beautiful faces and God bless of them. We are here to mourn, but uh, um, you can as well. And it's not only from the it cannot only come from the men. Women are here, and I know women are good advisors. So it can come from any of you, both white and black. Uh, interested to give him advice, to support him. <laughs> Indicate by raising your hand. From this end too. Ah, okay. Uh, this man that looks like a uh, Ushiban job. <laughs> Can we hear from you? But he's not. It could be him. <laughs> uh, let me first start to say good evening to everybody. Distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen. Um, I want to direct this 
a little advice to my very good friend, Debo Emmanuel. Brother, it's a very big loss to me. Which losing somebody you love is a very big loss in life. And I think as much as you love her, so also is our God that created you and her, loved her. And for the fact that we didn't, we didn't know the mystery behind our creation, that is why everything that God has decided is all for good. I want you to take heart, wherever she is, her spirit will always be with you. And that you are mourning her today because you are grieved and you know how dear she was to you. But she is also dear to our Lord in heaven. So let us assume or think or accept that God, our Father that is in heaven, have done that thing that is right in his eyes. Take heart and continue, continue doing whatever you are doing and always have her in your mind. Her spirit will guide you, will protect you from things that you will never think of. Take heart. Thank you. So, well spoken. Um, we all know in life there are two seasons in life, two important seasons in life. <coughs> a day to be born and a day to die. That is morning period. When a child is born, there is joy everywhere in the world, in the family. And when somebody goes back to the Creator, it's time to mourn. It's not easy. So, if there is any other person that wants to speak up, please indicate. I greet every one of you. Brother, uh, let me quickly say, this happened to me like two months ago. So, I feel your pain. In things like this, I don't normally talk, but I know how it is to lose a sister. But most of you all were here when I buried my sister. You came to mourn with me. It is not easy. If you keep weighing yourself down by thinking and thinking, you are not helping yourself and the children you left. You are not helping the family. Because now you have more responsibility than before. Those children there, you'll be the one to assist more than the way you did doing before. And the other side, sometimes it will come to your dream as if you people are still together. You start living like the way it was before. You just wake up and say, ah, you start feeling sad again. All this will happen, but just be strong as a man and know what has happened. It's like you are still dreaming. You sometimes you say, let me wake up from the dream. But it is reality. It has happened and it has happened. Just take care. Is there any other person? In this situation like this, all I have for me is that just take heart. She has gone, and there's nothing that will bring her back. But I want you to know that you have more. What she left behind, trans was impossible. Death, you take her own position and manage it with your own responsibility. And I pray to Almighty God to give you that power and wisdom and blessing. It was what I told the Lord. Anybody want to tell him something? Yeah, here. Yeah, As yeah. for advice, where? Uh, brother, talk. It's okay, it's okay. It's okay. <laughs> Good evening, everybody. Good evening. All protocol of that. Is my name, and uh, I'm the president of Primago Federal, in which Enable is uh, our executive PRO. 
So, on behalf of uh, Prima Cotelos, I want to invite everybody seated here today to this sad occasion. I would have preferred if it was a glorious one. But all the same, like uh, my brother here said, there is a day when you give birth, you glorify, and when one passes on, you mourn. But at the same time, you also glorify God because He is the Creator. He gives it, He takes it. And He knows the very reason why He called her at this early age. So, Mr. Nebo, on behalf of Prima Godfellow's Gospel, I want to say, please take heart and you have the full weight of your forearm behind you. Thank you, everybody, once more. Thank you for the audience. One more last chance. If there is anyone, we thank God for everything that is going to happen. God gives and God take it away. So we can give thanks to God in all things. That way she rests in perfect Amen. Amen. Thank you. We're going to clap now. Na God they give yes. life and na God they take. So today God has taken. We must give Him glory because everything belongs to God. Um, we can see what to drink and what ways of them. Um, in our own tradition, where I'm coming from, the same place Nebo is from. Um, in Iberia, we don't present corn. I don't know about other people's tradition, but in a burial, we don't offer people cola. And I have a Every month, one So, as it is now, whatever thing you see here is being served for this occasion. So, you can drink, you can eat whatever thing you see here. That is what the family people provide plus other other things. Because if it's normal location that is not party, we start offering cola and uh, blessing cola and all dress on them. So that's why I didn't go to this drink before we started. It is our own tradition. And most especially if the person is not an elderly person of about 80 years, we don't offer cola, we don't offer food. Because it's grief to lose somebody at a younger age. That is our tradition. Thank so, based on that, uh, we have to move forward to the to the next um, uh, agenda. Maybe eating, if there is um, music, entertainment, and all the rest of them. <laughs> Oh, we're 